Okay, if you've been looking for that upgraded half ton fifth wheel experience, let me tell you, this four to six sleeping beauty right here, 28 feet long, roughly 7,600 pounds dry, you're gonna love the features and amenities in the all new Cougar half ton 25 RES. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young seating. Well, kind of just leaning on this beautiful 2021 Keystone Cougar half ton 25 RES. This is that fifth wheel that if you've been looking to upgrade your RV into a fifth wheel, you don't have like a 350 or a 450 and you still want the creature comforts, the space, the style, the headroom that a fifth wheel is going to give you in a rear entertaining model for that adventurous couple. This is one for you because 28 feet long, roughly 7,600 pounds dry, and has everything you could ever want. Keystone's Cougar line is one of the top selling fifth wheels, uh, mid-profile fifth wheels for, gosh, probably the last 16 plus years. And it's because of the quality and construction, the manufacturing, as well as all the amenities that you get in them. Just look right back here along the back wall. Campside dominated by an angled entertainment center and a huge panoramic window with a wood balance and wood skirting around the side. I love this because not only does it look good, if we were to pull this up, the, the light would literally flood in, but the breeze that's gonna come from there, the ability to see the mountains, the beach, the lake, wherever, this is your opportunity to do that. Then you throw on top of the fact that we wanna leave home, but we wanna take all the creature comforts of home with us, well, you'd have things like large glazed maple. This is the driftwood decor with the frosted glass inlay on the cabinets, the hideaway hinges, which to me is just a showmanship of the quality of manufacturing and construction. They don't have to put hideaway hinges in here. That's a more expensive hinge. Why not just save, cut a corner, save and put the regular hinge in there? Nope. With the Cougar, they want to give you that top of the line, that premium fill. And you got plenty of space right here. Well, Chris, you know, I'm like you. I like to hide my good Girl Scout cookies and my bourbon from people like Bob. Well, look at what we got behind this huge 50-inch TV. Good shelf space, sure, for the components, but more importantly than that, that's good hideaway storage, really maximizing the use of the space here. You got the swivel belt, you got your key TV multi-source connection and your power, and the TV is movable and you can angle it wherever you want. So when you're ready to put it up, oh, see? See what I was talking about? Look how beautiful that smells out there. Such a great view of the outdoors. Now, if you wanna put something in front of the TV, we don't watch TV a lot, but I need a place for my ferns, okay. Here you go. You also got the dual USB charging and the 110 right there. All above your Furion AM FM command center with CD, DVD player, dual zone, and you can control this uh, with the app too. It's Bluetooth uh, ready. Love this because it makes life easy. I mean, the Keystone Cougars are easy anyway because of the in-command app, the generation three in-command. You can control the HVAC, the slides, the awnings, the whole nine, all from your cell phone. The InnoFlame, <clears throat> fireplace right there. As you can see, 4,700 BTUs, multi-flame, multi-lights, and those crystals light up. It's electric, and the blower really does a good job of knocking the chill off the air. That's I say it a lot because that's the best way to really describe it. And when you're talking about your HVAC, you got a 15K Whisper Quiet uh, air conditioner, the Coleman Mach with the quick cool dump that's ducted. Plus you got a 35,000 BTU heater on this unit. Now here along the back wall, underneath that giant panoramic window, look at the storage that I have here. Solid doors with the hideaway hinges. Once again, with those brushed nickel fixtures, just giving us good space. Add that to the fact that we have this hyperdeck flooring, which is a composite of linoleum and graphite. It's, it's laminated and back. It's also a good moisture barrier. So it's lightweight, durable, and moisture resistant. That to me makes for a great camping experience and things you don't really have to worry about. And the insulation on this as well is rated from zero to a hundred degrees. So you could go true four season camping. Um, but I always say that that's four season with an asterisk because four season in Buffalo is different than four season in Maui. Just always use common sense. You know, if you're gonna go to negative 30 degrees, that's not going to be fun. If you go into 140 degrees, that's not going to be fun either. So, you know, just do however you want to do. Some of the largest in-class panoramic windows you are going to find in the RV industry, all surrounded by those wood balances with the side skirting. Love that. Plus, 
you got the day and night shades, the true privacy, the true blackout. And when you're ready to relax and disconnect, reconnect with the loved ones, you got this Allure furniture, which is pillow top comfort. These things, now this one will sleep four people comfortably. Uh, if you get one that has the jackknife sofa, you can upgrade that to five or six. But with the massage and the heat, plus I got the little LED accent light, my USB charging port, you kick these bad boys out, you open up the window, maybe you're at the base of a mountain, you're at the lake, whatever. You get that cross breeze going. Got your little bourbon right there, your water, your green tea, your, your kombucha kakacha. I mean, that is going to be a good night's sleep. Or at least it is for me, because I'm knockout watching the game, whatever. But then when you want to, you know, really reconnect with the family and enjoy those camp cook meals, maybe play the card games, play the board games. Check out my dinette. Booth dinette with plush pillows and the pillows have the solid backer on them. Here, let me show you. This is the cover to your storage. This also reduces down into a sleeper, but you don't have to worry about lifting a storage door up like you usually would. You could access everything there through the slats, but you got your solid wood backer right there. So not only making it easier to get to the storage because you don't have to lift up a door and grab stuff. This is also your support for your sleeper because this does reduce down into a bed. You'll also notice here on the slides, carpetless. Really makes life a whole lot easier when you're talking about cleaning up. Come over here to the campsite kitchen and this driftwood decor, absolutely beautiful. It makes me feel like I'm in the Swiss Alps at a beautiful rustic chalet. Would you, would you like some marshmallows in your hot chocolate? Yes, yeah, Bobby's back there smiling. You remember when Heidi interrupted that Steelers game? Wait, am I, am, am I dating myself? Okay, I'll shut up. Flush mounted microwave right here. Once again, you got those shaker style cabinets, rustic and beautiful. Got the brushed nickel fixtures. Good storage spot up there. Good grab and go spot for me. That's where I probably put a Kabu bag. Got some pantry storage here. And you'll notice they have the crown molding on them as well. Just making it look more residential, more beautiful. Cause you do have really good head clearance in here. You even have head clearance over six feet in the slide. And for me, that's extremely important because you're not knocking your noggin when you're walking around. Got the pressed countertops here with the beveled edges, flush mounted three burner microwave here with the grill style grate and the little accent light on the controls. 21 inch Furion oven right there, giving you a good spot to do some of that long baking, maybe make the shrinky dinks, whatever. And a 50-50 undermounted stainless steel sink with the high rise faucet and the sprayer nozzle. Love this because you and I believe how useful the sprayer nozzle is. Toss on back top of that, we got ourselves a cutting board on one side and a drying rack on the other. Plenty of storage under here as well. Good spot for the trash can. And right there, you'll see my LP O2 detector beside my circuit breaker box. You got drawer storage, both here, full extension, solid wood, on the ball bearing drives, still matching that rustic decor. And you have large drawers over here in front of the entry point. You got a little mini mudroom right here with the cork board, the hangers, everything that you need, put your jackets, you know, tack your keys, tack notes, whatever you want, good spot. Beautiful high ceilings. You'll even see they even added the wood stripping, the molding there to the corners, just to make it more residential. Come up the stairs. We got a motion sensing LED light here. Um, solid metal grab handle. You got the in command. I mentioned that just a minute ago about you know, how this will help you control the slides, the HVAC, the awnings, the whole nine, all from the comfort of your cell phone. You got that right there. And if you notice, the entry point leads right to the bathroom. So while you're down the road, if you're traveling, and you want to be a little turtle friendly, you can access the restroom while you're in transit. I mean, after you stop. I mean, you don't want to do some jack or reacher joints and try to leave the truck and go while it's down the road. I mean, I, I wouldn't advise it anyway. Come into the master bathroom. We got a high rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush, plenty of room, pocket door that's solid wood and check out my vanity. Once again, maximizing the space, giving us some good countertop space. You got the angled brush nickel fixture here and the sink is undermounted. So you won't have that seam up top that can get dirty and nasty. You can just sweep everything in. 110 GFCI outlet there, wood inlay with my mushroom lights. Can you get in there, Bobby? Hi, come on in. You got enough room to get two people in here pretty easily. 
very high lips on this medicine cabinet. I like that because that, if you have bottles or shampoos or what, you know, whatever you want to store in there, when you get to your destination and you open this up, it's not going to fall out all over you. And right here behind little, little Bobby Devlin's is our linen storage plus a towel rack. Once again, you'll notice the hideaway hinge, it's solid wood construction, walk-in residential shower with the bench seat and the brush nickel, even on my bath controls. You got corner notches here, large inlay with that kind of crystal inlay here in the, in the uh, skylight, not cramped left to right. And if I need to sit down to shave my legs, bam, I got the spot to do that in. I do that often. Just upgraded features. I'm a fan of the Keystone Cougars, if you can't tell. Queen size bed, when we walk into the master here, once again, separated by a solid door. There's my large window. I got nightstand and shelf space on both sides, plus dual USB charging and 110. I'd like to have a ward bar right there. That'd be nice. But I'll show you why they didn't put it in here in just a second. More storage up top and storage over there. Plus you got little side opening doors down here for cubby storage. If you want to put some stuff in there, you could. But good spot for your CPAP machine. Plus you got the little mushroom lights on both sides there as well. And under the bed, strut supported and goes all the way to the front cap. Now inside this front cap, you'll notice you got over six foot of clearance until you get to the bed. Um, which with mid profile fifth wheels, that's usually the case. You still got good headroom and good clearance. Just when you get to the bed, that's when you got to start ducking down. But even then, I mean, you're going to be laying down. LCD TV mounting bracket right here on the front wall, not on my side walls. My key TV multi-source connection, my 110 and my mirrored wardrobe in its own slide. This is why we don't have the ward bars on the side ward storage, which I guess technically you couldn't call it ward storage. Ward, you're a little hard on the beaver last night, Ward. You have to have to yell at him like that. Sorry, I've been watching some classic shows lately. It's really, I'm loving it. But you got the drawers over here too. I digress. And they do come out to the bed, so you just gotta watch out for that. But still, doing a good job of maximizing the space. Tons of features and amenities that you won't find in a lot of like half-ton fifth wheels. You look like Captain Morgan there, Bob. All in all, at 28 feet, roughly 7,600 pounds, to sleep four to six people comfortably, depending on the configuration. This is one that if you've been looking for that upgraded camping experience, the 2021 Keystone Cougar 25 RES checks all the boxes. We've seen the inside of this beautiful half-ton fifth wheel. What do you say? We go check out the outside. Neither the rain, nor the snow, nor the sleet or hail will keep us from bringing you information about the 2021 Keystone Cougar Half Ton 25 RES. Here we are on the outside, hopefully over my giant umbrella, you can see you got that beautiful automotive coating on that painted fiberglass end cap with the LED running lights and the road armor hitch. These give you a little bit wider turning radius than most other fifth wheel hitches. And fifth wheels are a little bit easier to tow than most travel trailers because the weight's distributed more evenly inside the bed of your truck. But you got the hitch vision on this one with the little security light. You got the road armor with the pivoting head. That's going to help stop the chucking and bucking when you're going down the road. Got your little box right there with the spare tire and your battery. And you'll see the ground control legs, which we'll get to once we get around the other side. But let me show you this real quick. The thing I like about Keystone and the manufacturing, their end cap comes all the way over here, which is where it's sealed. Not only helping with the insulation, but it just makes it more durable, more sturdy, because you got those radiant foil barriers on both sides, astro foil barrier on the underneath, plus you got a heated and enclosed underbelly on this one as well. Dual 30 gallon tanks, LPs on this one, so you got 60 gallons here. Uh, and this one's also set up for the Furion side vision. So we do have uh, the, the capability to put cameras on the side here if you like. Heated pass-through storage and take a look at the space that we have right there. Not only is it finished off, you do have the heating there. There's your in-command control panel right there. You got the LED light, plus you got your key TV multi-source connection and 110. So if you want to set up some outside entertainment, you absolutely can. Magnetic anti-slam latches on these with the sealed 
uh, hinges here, which means you're not gonna have that rust and the streaks going down this beautiful white on the fiberglass siding here. Marine grade speakers there on the outside, which is good because it is raining. And you got the large awning with the LED light strip, solid step over steps leading into the main entry point with the extra large grab handle, that 26 inch entry point with the friction hinge door. And you notice the top steps a little bit bigger. That's just more safely, uh, more, more safe, secure. Plus it's also pet friendly. This one also comes pre-wired for solar. So if you want to put your solar panels, the wiring is already done for you. You can put them on the top of this beautiful 25 RES. Double axle there with the road armor suspension on those 15 inch aluminum rims, nitro filled tires with those E rated tires, better grade, better stability. And that road armor really absorbs the bounce while going down the road. One of my favorite things, a lot of times you see them mostly with uh, the bunkhouse units, but having the external kitchen, a great option here. Got my prep area. I got the Capitol grill with the radiant style top. I love this because instead of burners, you have this whole area right here that you could do the cooking on. Slide that back in. You're good to go. Plus I got my little hot point mini fridge with the little ice spot there as well. Close this up. And once again, anti-slam magnetic lock that in place. And if you want to hook up your grill, you got your LP quick connect right there. Come around to the back and you'll see we got the ladder mounted on the back. This does come camera ready, so you can put that in. The wires and everything are there. You just got to get the backup camera. Got your external shower with hot and cold right here. Those beautiful tinted safety windows all the way around this one too at 80% tint. You'll notice how large that is. Imagine the light coming from the mountains or the beach, wherever you want to go. Got your little connection right there for your 50 amp service. Fresh water connection. Oh, here we go. I'll just take this down while we walk through. Now with Keystone, their slides have what's known as true fit technology. Um, their slides are made to fit exactly into the spot that they go in. They're insulated, which when they're built that way, that means that they also minimize the use of components when moving them in and out. Come over here to the other side of our pass through storage, as well as our external command center. And you'll see right there, you got your all your connections, your winterization, your black tank flush, plus the, the pull stops for your black tank and your gray tank. And Bobby, if you go down there underneath, you'll see the uh, main connections right there. Now this one, you got 60, 60, 30. 60 gallon fresh, 60 gallon gray, 30 gallon black. So really good, space and storage for if you want to go off the grid toss on that the fact that it's pre-wired for solar you could take this one off the grid very easily but the most important part of any rv oh and our ground control is in there too bobby sorry didn't mean to pass that by we both got these big umbrellas and i didn't want to go get into some umbrella boxing while we're just trying to get these, get these videos shot but right here your info panel this is the most important part to any rv this is where you come to see okay how much does this one weigh Unloaded weight on this one, 7,600 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 10,000 pounds. That's where you take your information back to your specialist at Camping World and at Gander, and you say, hey, what does that mean? Because here's what my vehicle can tow. Is this right for me? But if you're an adventurous couple or small family and you want that upgraded half-ton fifth-wheel experience, rear entertaining, great creature comforts, style, and amenities, got to tell you, this 2021 Keystone Cougar half-ton 25 RES checks all the boxes for you. But leave me some comments down below and let me know, what'd you like about this one? What'd you not like about it? Because we love hearing from you. We love getting those comments, as do the manufacturers. And please, while you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify. So next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. As for me, Chris Young, that's it. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be dancing in the rain, and five bucks says I walk 10 feet without falling down and slipping. <laughs>